Have you outgrown your home and don't want to give up your 3% rate? Well, if we decided that it doesn't make sense for you to sell and buy a home and look at some strategic options, maybe save you more money if we had to in order to get you into a new home, but instead consider maybe keeping your property as a rental property because you don't have to get a higher interest rate if you keep your current loan as a rental property. You get to keep all the terms of your loan. So if you're one of the lucky people that have a really low rate and a really low payment and you're really attached to it and you don't want to let it go, let's consider what it would look like for purchasing another property. Now you may say, hey Kristen, I don't have enough money to put 20% down to buy another primary residence. Well, guess what? You don't have to. We have programs, depending on what we're looking at, three and a half to 5% down on a new primary residence, and then you can keep your home as a rental property. Now, why would that be a benefit? You say, Kristen, if I don't put 20% down, my payment's gonna be higher. That is true. However, you now will have cash flow from the property that you're renting out that can be used to offset the higher mortgage payment. And then house hacking in a year or two when interest rates come down, the home that you bought, we get to put you into a lower interest rate, lower terms if they're available and be able to lower your payment for more affordability. So although the next year or two until rates come down, you may have a higher outgoing payment initially, eventually those payments are gonna lower. But there's other things that most people don't realize. When you have a rental property, you now get to file a Schedule E on your tax returns. That saves you even more money. So while you may say, well, that's great, Kristen, I can rent out my house for 3,000 and my mortgage payment's 1,600, so I have 1,400 that I'm gonna have from that as profit, but my mortgage payment is gonna be $2,000 higher than I want it to be. You also have to consider the after-tax benefits that you get when you get to file a Schedule E and have a rental income because you get to write off so many things that you actually are gonna be getting more of a net profit than you think that you're going to get. It's not what your rent is versus your payment. There's more write-offs that you get that's actually gonna give you more than that to help you to offset to get into a higher payment for the home that you want. So this is a great opportunity for those that have the lower interest rates right now to be able to capitalize on the market, keep your current low terms so that you can cash flow on your current home as the rental property, be able to afford a higher, higher mortgage right now to afford a higher price so that when interest rates come down and prices go up, you already solidified and purchased the home at the lower terms. And then in the future, you also get to take advantage of lower interest rates. This is what the wealthy are doing to get even more wealth. This is what people that are wanting to get into the investment market and build their financial portfolio that already own a home, this is how they're doing it. They're taking advantage of right now where the market is to be able to get cash flow on the current home and be able to get into a new home. So give me a call today. Let's strategize on what options are available to you so you could start building your real estate portfolio today.